Hi everyone, it's the Professor here again. Here's another video in the Getting Stuff Done series. Uh, you'll have seen my previous video on creating your own GPT. This one is about creating amazing PowerPoint presentations just like these. Let's get on with it. Okay, so this week we are going to create a PowerPoint presentation from scratch, doing the research, creating the slides and getting them ready for uh, presenting. And the subject matter for today's PowerPoint slides are around mental health in the workplace. And it's something that's quite important to me, uh, being uh, somebody who works in a workplace with lots of people. I guess I understand that people go have have issues with their mental health uh, while they're at work. And it, it could be that they're having a challenge uh, in the workplace through stress or high work levels, or it could be that they are uh, being impacted by things that are happening outside the office environment. And both of those things happen, and sometimes they happen at the same time. I guess the, the important thing for me as somebody who has, has been through uh, all of those things uh, multiple times is that it's really it's really important just to be aware of yourself be aware of stress building it's a cumulative thing be aware of your colleagues um and and i think be be nice to yourself just uh, give yourself a bit of time to talk about things uh, to work things out go to your safe places or your safe activities i find going for a walk really helpful in sort of de-stressing uh, or going for a run potentially um so um uh, through this through this session we're, we're definitely going to go through how to use uh, chat gpt to support us in putting presentations together uh, but perhaps also have a few words about how we can look after each other keep each other safe uh, and uh, have safer, healthier lives. Okay, let's get on with it. Okay, let's jump into ChatGPT. I'm using the paid version today because I want to use pictures. I also don't want it to run out of juice before the end of this video. Okay, so first prompt uh, is let's act as a mental health expert. Remember, give it a persona. Write me a paragraph on each topic. Tell it Give it, give it some range, what you want it to do. Give me the key aspects of mental health in a workplace. Dive into the subtopics. I want some detail. Cover the challenges to good mental health and solutions for the individual, team and employer. And gather statistics. I want to be able to back up whatever I'm saying. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Press send. ChatGPT starts immediately producing key aspects of mental health in the workplace, challenges to good mental health, solutions for individuals. So really uh, useful in-depth research to be able to inform the presentation, solutions for employers as asked for, and some statistics and data and a conclusion. So as I said many times, you need to check so uh, what I want to do is see references for each of the claims so that I can go out and check that the information and the data is correct. Should have put that in the first prompt. Here we go. It's giving me the document again. And as you can see, it's giving me references. This is a WHO reference. And if we go down to the bottom, we should have a full list of clickable references that I can go and look at and just check that the data is correct. It's really important to do this because remember it will make stuff up. Okay so we've done the basic research. I can't stress enough it's really important you check everything in the research. Check that you agree with it. Check that it is properly referenced. Check that it makes sense because ChatGPT will make things up despite all the things we've done uh, to stop it from hallucinating. OK, so once we're happy with our research, what we need to do is to get it into a format that will help us to create a PowerPoint slide. So let's do that next. So I've created a new prompt. 
organize this data in a suitable format to present in PowerPoint to a business audience. You are now a PowerPoint ninja, giving it a new persona. Please set out each of the slides and include the background data you've generated as the notes section. So you have clean slides, but all of the data in the notes section. I want my slides in Arial font, a maximum of four bullets per slide. I don't want them over busy and I expect around 10 slides and then create a downloadable PowerPoint deck for me to review. You send the prompt into ChatGPT and you very quickly get a file, a PowerPoint file that you can download. So you just click on the downloadable file and it appears in the top right hand corner. You can open it, you can look at it in your file in a folder or you can just straight open the PowerPoint. And there we go, that's pretty cool. We've created a PowerPoint deck of the information that we researched. Hasn't seemed to have put it into uh, Arial font, uh, but we have all the slides there. Uh, we have the references on. I'm not, not sure I quite like those references. Quite a lot of this is in, it's sort of American. Not sure that's perfect for what I want, but there you can see we've got a slide deck. Let's see if we can go back and make it a little bit better. Okay, so I've created a new prompt. I'm pleased with the slides, but they're rather US centric. Could you ensure the data is relevant to the UK audience? I want it to change the data. References should be placed at the bottom of each slide. And please review the slides and give me a new PowerPoint to download and review. Let's see what we get. So we should get a new, yep, we get a new um, PowerPoint to download. Once again, click on it. It'll uh, download into the top right hand corner. And you can select it. Probably just, yeah, I just need to wait for it to load. Yeah, there we go. And then open PowerPoint again. And let's see what they've done this time. Great, so we've got our slides and yeah they they're looking a bit better uh, i've got the as you can see the uh, references are on the bottom the sources for each of the slides uh, yep yeah, that all looks good and uh, it is uk centric which is what i asked for nice and yeah i think we can do even better let's let's have another go at improving this slide deck OK, so we've got the basic slides. We've got all of the information that we've done the research on. We've got it into a PowerPoint deck. We've done some things around formatting, but I don't think that's enough. What we need to do is, is liven up the slides. So one of the great things about ChatGPT, it's got DALI embedded within it. And uh, if you want to see some more about DALI, please have a look at the uh, video uh, that specifically focuses on that. But well, now we've got that information in there, what we can do is ask it to produce a picture for each slide. So I've created uh, the prompt that you see down below. And let's see what that produces in terms of pictures uh, for this slide deck. So we should start getting some images. There we go. Got the, uh, the first set of images. It actually took quite a long time to generate these images. So I've, I've jumped through them a bit, but we've got people feeling stressed groups of people learning somebody Zen, maybe something around a team there, having a conversation perhaps with your manager. It did actually take some time. We've got some more people stressed. Something about being out sick. Roles being vacant, maybe because people are not feeling too well. And then something around investment in health. And you can see, as I've said before, if you start putting text in, it starts to go a bit weird. And so it's generated a slide, uh, a picture that, that goes uh, against each slide. And it says at the end that I can add these in to the individual slide. OK, so I played around with the pictures a bit. Interestingly, I, I produced a whole load of pictures and then it said you're going to have to wait for eight minutes to give other people a chance to, to use the uh, GPT. So I had to wait around a little bit. Uh, I took the words out of the pictures and then uh, got to the end of that, happy with the pictures. And I asked ChatGPT to create me a slide deck with the pictures in. So let's see what we got uh, from all of that work. 
Right, so we've got pictures. Uh, it seems to have put them right over the text. Hasn't really uh, formatted them particularly. So I'm going to use Designer in PowerPoint that will hopefully uh, make my slides look a bit more sensible. So it gives you lots of different designs, but uh, even Designer doesn't move the pictures around. So what I'm going to do is just try and resize them, move them into a different area, give it some tools to work from. Uh, let's do the second one as well just so that we can uh, show this working. Just resize and then let's try uh, designer again and see what we get. There we go. Oh, that looks a bit better. So as you can see, designer gives you a, a whole load of different slides that you can choose from where it takes the picture and the text and moves it around uh, and gives you different options. You can uh, select these different options to see which ones you like just by uh, clicking on it let's have a look at this one there we go quite like that one I quite like the the large space you can have different backgrounds different sizes etc uh, so you just go through this and decide which ones you want you can ask for some more uh, and it will give you some other options I guess there's a few there I like I guess I quite like the uh, the big picture on the right hand side. That's quite nice in a box uh, with some colour on it. Uh, and you can see that it, what it's done is formatted the title and then the bullet points for each of the, the different slides. So you just go through this and select the one you want and then uh, you can add that into your slide. OK, so I spent quite a lot of time titting around with trying to get a designer to work because Although I could set up the first couple of slides, uh, when I went to the third and fourth slide, it gave me designs that just weren't consistent with the ones that I had previously. So I had to do a little bit of learning and I looked at these two YouTube videos, went through them. YouTube's a great place for learning. And it told me that I needed to uh, start having a look at the master slide. So I'll just go through what I learned and show you how that worked and then you'll get to see the final slideshow. So here we are on the final stretch now. You go into View and Master Slide, choose Master Slide. Uh, and then, of course, you can go through and change the font, change the size, change the positioning of particular items in the Master Slide. And this will affect every slide, every, every so the aspects of the slides that you're, you're impacting. So again, change the font. You can put whatever font you want in there. I want Arial. And you can obviously change the size of that font. Select it. There's also options to choose bulk bits of uh, formatting. And then we need to add in a picture on the right hand side. And there we go. We get our slide deck with our pictures as we expected. Thank goodness for that. It's been a bit of a challenge, I can tell you. Uh, but we got there in the end. And remember, we got notes to be added to the slides. And there they are of each of our lovely slides ready for presentation. OK, so we were able to use ChatGPT to do the research for our topic, to produce the bullet points and the background information, and also to produce a whole load of images for our slides, and then to put them into a PowerPoint presentation that we could then go into and refine. Now, refining the PowerPoint presentation turned out to be quite a job, and I had to go off and do a bit more learning uh, and of how to use the master slide option on PowerPoint, but we got there in the end. I hope you found that interesting. I've had to learn something as I've gone through this, uh, but as you can see, you can use ChatGPT to generate high quality slides for you. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe, please ring the bell and you'll get informed of any future videos to come. I'll just give you a heads up. I've got a challenge going on for August. All will be revealed on Thursday this week. So please ring the bell, please subscribe, then you won't miss out uh, and I will see you soon. Bye bye for now.